took a lot of flack for uh, passing the stimulus. stimulus bill, thank you, and helping out the banks, and then you took a lot of flack because people felt you didn't do enough with the folks who were responsible, they didn't go to jail, nobody got into trouble. So now I'm wondering, because I watched this J.P. Morgan Chase thing just go down, I'm wondering, A, what do you think happened? And B, sir, what are you going to do about it? Because there's got to be, this has to be the last straw. Well, look, first of all, uh, J.P. Morgan <laughs> is one of the best managed banks there is. Mm. Jamie Dimon, the, the, the head of it, is one of the smartest backers we got. And they still lost $2 billion in counting, precisely because they were making bets uh, in this, these derivative markets. We don't know all the details yet. Uh, it's going to be investigated. But... This is why we passed Wall Street reform. The whole point was, even if you're smart, mm. you can make mistakes. And since these banks are insured, backed up by taxpayers, mm -hmm. we don't want you taking risks where eventually we might end up having to bail you out again. Mm -hmm. Because we've done that, been there, didn't like it. So this is why we raise capital requirements, so that when they do lose money, they've got enough money socked away that they can pay off those obligations. This is why we've put in place uh, something called the Volcker Rule that says, you know what, uh, if you are a, a federally insured, uh, supported bank, you can't make bets on your own trades with your own money uh, that could end up resulting in $2 billion or $3 billion losses, because think about it, uh, this is the best or one of the best managed banks. Right. You could have a bank that isn't as strong, isn't as profitable, making those same bets, and we might have had to step in. And, and that's exactly why Wall Street reform is so important. Now, we're still fighting this battle because uh, all these regulations are being put in place as we speak. A lot of uh, the financial industry is still fighting them. Right. They've hired tons of lobbyists to push back on this stuff. And so I, I hope that everybody who's watching is letting their members of Congress know, you know what, we want these rules in place to make sure this right. kind of stuff yeah, does not happen again. That's a lot of dough. That's real money. That's a lot of dough. That is real money. <laughs> yeah. Even for you, Whoopi. <laughs> Specifically, though, Mr. Romney, are you kidding? Specifically, though, Mr. President, you have all of these things that are in place, some yeah. working, some not. Are you, as the federal government, going to do anything more so that this doesn't happen? Well, keep in mind, if we get... Uh, all the rules that we proposed and were passed by Congress implemented into law, well, it should did. prevent yeah. this kind of stuff from happening. But this, again, is, is, is going to be part of what the election's about. We've got real differences here because Governor Romney, members, uh, some of the Republican members of Congress, and the financial industry have been arguing that this is unnecessary, that this is impeding capital formation, it's making it harder uh, to lend to businesses, etc. And what I've said is, look, we want a successful financial uh, industry. That's always been one of the hallmarks of America. But what makes us the best financial industry is transparency, accountability, mm -hmm. rules, so that small investors feel like if they put their money into Wall Street, it's not going to suddenly just disappear. Mm -hmm. right. They're not going to be defrauded. We want the banking industry to do what it does best, which is allocate capital to a small business, to some entrepreneur who wants to start something, to help families finance a home or buy a car or uh, send their kids to college. That's what makes for a strong banking industry. And that's why you know, you'll hear us talk about this during the course of the, uh, the next uh, four or five months. Uh, it is my strong belief that we've got to have vigorous enforcement of these rules that we just passed.